All right, here's the deal. I really wasn't going to delve into this topic for a Randy's Rants, thinking it's just really too ridiculous for words. I mean, some things are just too stupid to acknowledge the existence of, and in the meantime, there have been developments that have made me decide that maybe it's about time I better a fucking address this uh, bullshit. Okay, so, with that being said, what the fuck is this shit with, with Bronyism? Bronies, Brony, Brony this, bro I never even knew the term existed, okay? Until about three and a half months ago, I believe it was when we were celebrating Rick and Josh's birthdays uh, back in December. Um, and, you know, we, we've been talking about this on the radio show, this, this supposed, you know, little, little declaration I submitted to ASCAP to read on the air on my behalf, which I've never done before, you know, it's like it's some, some crazy stuff. It's happened before, you know, it's like I supposedly submit this official piece of paper to ASCAP to read because I'm too embarrassed, to, whatever. You know, it, whatever it is, you know, there, there's something going on real fishy here. Um, in this case, it was the whole thing about bronies. And, as I have declared, I never even heard of the term brony until back in December. Utterly ridiculous concept. Um, for those who have no idea what I'm talking about, a brony is an adult male fan of the My Little Pony franchise. Yeah, you fucking heard that correctly. You know, and, and hey, you know, as an adult male, 47 years old, I grew up on cartoons. I love animated stuff. Okay, not so much into the, you know, I, I didn't care, you know. To be perfectly honest, having a youngest brother who would have been just about the right age for, you know, My Little Pony and Rainbow Bright and stuff like that, obviously, I mean, it's like... Something more the girls would have been into, obviously, but, you know, I, I can understand children in general being into... But even Bill didn't watch My Little Pony. Oh, my God. So I, I never even saw the cartoon. Even having a brother that was, like, under five years old when all this stuff came out, no. No. And, and you know, it's like... I tell you what, you know, it's like, give me fucking Looney Tunes or Scooby-Doo or Josie and the Pussycats any a day. I grew up on that shit. You know, Yogi Bear, Wacky Races, you know. That was the shit I grew up on. Under, fucking underdog. Right there. You know, you don't get much better than that. Um, Banana Splits, anybody remember that? Not really, I mean, they had a cartoons. It was more like live, live action segments. And, you know, they had some really cool cartoons as well as well, some actually actual really cool um, live-action um, programs like Danger Island. I always thought it was kind of cool. Um, that's the shit I grew up on. And I'm not so obsessed with the stuff that I run around dressed up like Scooby or Shaggy. I was like, actually, if anyone looks like Shaggy, Bill, under the right circumstances. Bill, you got to get into some cosplay, bro. We'll find somebody to throw on a Scooby outfit and you can be shaggy. We'll go to some of the conventions. And I'm off tangent here. But yeah, you know, it's like I don't have a problem with people being into cartoons. No, no beef at all. Still to this day, love animation. Um, but with that being said, you know, there, there are lines. And, I mean, on one hand, I guess, if you're an adult male and you're into My Little Pony and... You want to wear colorful rainbow pony wigs with little ears and unicorn horns and whatever else and rainbow dash socks and a 65. Go on Amazon and you'll be amazed at some of the shit that's out there, honestly. It's unbelievable. Um... $65 for a Rainbow Dash hoodie. What the fuck? P 
people actually spend money on this shit. But, yeah. Um, okay, it, it just boggles my mind that something like this actually exists. And, of course, you know, it's like the whole thing back in December, you know, supposedly I'm a brony. That was the whole big, you know, confession statement that I submitted at, that I'm a brony. Now, bear in mind, like I said, I've never heard the term before that night. Never. Completely unaware that anything like this could possibly exist. And, you know, no knowing that other things go on, I it shouldn't have come as a surprise. I mean, fuck, they have conventions for the worst movie ever made, Troll 2. Ever seen it? Can, <laughs> if not, consider yourself lucky. Um, so bad that there are conventions in honor of it. Like I said, boggles the mind, the shit that goes on. Um, anyhow. Yeah, supposedly, and of course, if you watch the video from that night on the show, it's like they're, you know, I'm supposedly confessing via note that I am a brony, and into all this stuff, and all of a sudden I had a handful of My Little Ponies, courtesy of Lance, who walked by and dumped them pretty much into my lap. I don't know, like, what the hell are these? I'm like, oh, what the fuck, My Little Ponies? You know, the, the video's on YouTube. You, you can find it if you look for it. Last Exit Metallic Onslaught, Limo, um, Etheric Productions. It's all there. With all the rest of the crazy Metallic Onslaught shit. Random self-promotion moment! Um, anyhow. With that being said, um... You know, it's all just insanely ridiculous. Not something I'm into. And then things got even crazier. Last Friday night, some goof calls the radio show and they ask for me. You know, I'm, I'm out in the other room. Um, I believe I was trying, there was something Joe had played that I was particularly interested in hearing and I was listening you know, on the headphones to the song and all of a sudden Josh is like, gesturing at me, pointing behind me, and Rick's knocking on the window, and like, phone for you, and I'm like, what the hell, who's calling me? So I go out, and I take the phone call, and it's, it's an idiot, and, and what is obviously a fake accent, okay? You know, think Apu from The Simpsons. Oh, would you like a squishy today? Oh, hi, Homer, Mr. Simpson, how are you? You know, that sort of thing. I don't even know how good that was, but if you've ever watched The Simpsons, you know who the fuck Apu is. That's kind of what he sounded like. Anyhow. Um. This guy. <sighs> starts going on about how he had heard that... I was interested in My Little Ponies, and I'm trying to explain to him, I'm like, look, you know, dude, this is a radio show. It's it's a gag. It's a, it's a storyline. And, you know, even part, if you're familiar with the storyline, I'm not admitting to anything. I'm denying it. I never even heard the term brony before all this started. Oh, no, like, what, well, what we would like you to do is come to Las Vegas when we are having a My Little Pony convention, and we would like you to be our keynote speaker. Yeah, right, yeah, sure, right, I don't fucking think so, no, um, yeah, th th this, just, even if there's any truth to this, no, I'm not coming to a My Little Pony convention, no brony con for me, sorry, uh-uh, you know, I'm, that's all great for the bronies and the, what, what are the, the women, adult women who are into My Little Pony, I, I've actually done a small amount of research into this because it is really a weird phenomenon. Apparently, the women call themselves unisisters. Um, and it, you know, to each his own. Um, diversity is what makes the world interesting. Am I? You know, and I, I don't mean to come down and judge anybody, but it's not my thing. Trust me. And depending on you know this whole thing with the radio show, and I'm supposed to do some big. You know, the, the, a No Pants Day. You know, first Friday of May, we celebrate No Pants Day. 
I'm supposed to do this whole thing that will be the ultimate expression of my bronyism, and I'm like, don't count on it, okay? You know, this is, I, I have, you know, for those of you who followed the show, you know over the past two years, I have pretty much ruined No Pants Day for everybody, okay? And they have seen my mostly naked ass pretty much too much over the past two years. I don't think they want any more. Matter of fact, it has been suggested for No Pants Day that, for me, it is going to be more Pants Day. So I'll probably be wearing layers. You know, a pair of jeans with sweatpants, maybe some thermal underwear underneath. I just hope, you know, being the beginning of May, it's not 90 fucking degrees outside, or else I'm going to die in that place. Or not, you know, considering they usually have the air conditioning cranked once the weather gets, you know, unbearably. Seriously, WALS in the summer. <laughs> Welcome to fucking Siberia. That's pretty much what it's like. Or Norway, as Josh would say. But I diverse again. Or, that's not what I meant to say. Yeah. Digress is what I meant to say. Yes, I digress. Um, yeah. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm ranting, which is the point of this, obviously. Um, that that is pretty much all I have to say on the subject. Okay, um, no to Brony Con, no to Bronyism in general, and definitely no to any huge expression of Bronyism on No Pants Day. Okay, um, if anybody's going to scar anyone mentally on No Pants this this year, it's not going to be me. It's going to be somebody else. You know, let somebody else strip down to almost nothing and run around and. I think I'm going to play it sane this year and just enjoy the night and have a few laughs at somebody else's expense for once. So, yeah. Bronies, you're all fucked up. Go to hell. I am not one of you. Um, have a nice life. See ya. Horns up to my metal fan or friends or whatever. Or my metal brethren, I should say. Yes, that is how it should be. We are a brotherhood and a sisterhood. And, uh, you know, fans of the Onslaught, if you're out there, if you're watching this, horns up to all of you. Remember, Friday nights, 10 to 3, WEOS 89.7. Go to MetallicOnslaught.com. If you're not from around the area, we do stream live every Friday night from 10 to 3. And uh, we love what we do. We listen to heavy metal, we play lots of good heavy metal, lots of underground, lots of local, and some of the classics, and we love it. That is the thing we are most serious about. Everything else, like bronyism, just silly icing on the cake. We're all about the music. Tune in.